Hi horse lovers. So today I'm taking Jafar on his first trail ride. So I'm going to show you some tips and tricks on what you can do to prepare your green horse for their first trail ride. Let's go. The first thing that I do once I get the horse off the trailer is I want them to feel relaxed and make this a good experience. So as you can see here, I've given Jafar a hay bag. So he's eating some hay. I'm grooming him, making it relaxing and just spending some time with him. You don't wanna just throw the saddle on and head out. You want the horse to be comfortable and build up to this experience. So today, this is gonna be Jafar's first trail ride. He's my six-year-old Frisian heritage horse, and it's gonna be really fun to see how he does. Okay, so when you're taking a green horse on a trail ride, for me, what's really important is safety equipment. So I have my Tipperary vest on. It technically is an eventer vest and then a helmet. So I'm sorry, I personally believe in wearing helmets when riding. Again, it's a personal choice, but since this is about taking a green horse out, this is what I'm gonna talk about. So we're getting ready to hit the trail and I cannot wait to see how he does. Let's go. Okay, so we just headed out and first thing I'm gonna do is just hand walk him on the trail for a little bit. Good boy. He's doing good so far. <laughs> it's a beautiful day, so I'm excited about that. You good boy, you gonna be a good boy. You can do it. All right, just hopped on him. Jiminy's pooping, of course, so we're just waiting. <laughs> so far, he's doing a really awesome job. I feel comfortable on him thus far, just the first couple of minutes. He's given good energy. Another thing that you can do um, you know, I just hand walked him for just a few minutes, but if your horse was really nervous, then I would recommend lunging or hand walking for a longer period of time. But I felt comfortable getting on him, just kind of wanted to put that out there. You really want to start off slow on the first trail ride. You don't want to just go straight into a trot or canter. You want to get the horse comfortable and you don't want that adrenaline to spike. And you also don't ever feel shamed for lunging or hand walking your horse in the beginning. I'm here to set my horse up for success and give him a good experience and take it moment by moment. For some reason with trail riding, people don't think about hand walking, warming up, lunging, they just get on and walk. Well, it's okay if you have to lunge and spend a little time before heading straight out on the trail. Jafar is doing really well. We walked for a little while, warmed up. He's behaving, he's listening, he's in tune. So something that I'm gonna do is pick up a trot with him. Now for me, I wanna see how he's gonna really act. So I'm gonna bring him up to the front and lead with him for a little bit and see what kind of behavior he gives me. He's doing really well. He's still pretty confident, but he's checking everything out. Everything's new. Now, I also think it's important to be with a horse that's gonna set your horse up for success as like a babysitter. That's why I have Jiminy, who's my steady Eddie. We can fall back on him if things get sour. But it's also great because I can see how is he going to be when he's in front and giving him different opportunities to lead and follow. All right, so he's a little like, hey, what's all that brush? Because again, he hasn't seen anything like this. So I'm just going to take it slow, encourage him to move forward. He needs a lot of reinsurance. So he's pooping right now because he's a little bit nervous. But I just want to give him a lot of praise. He really likes the verbal cues. So I'm going to be a little over the top today. So just ignore that. But you're gonna see how he acts in different situations. He did an excellent job handling everything in that situation. He's doing really good being in front. He's really trying to please and he's listening to me. And that's what I'm looking for. Now, if your horse is extremely nervous or you may not be super experienced, then you obviously wanna take in consideration if it's a good idea for you to take the horse out on a trail ride, but also you may want to just follow. I felt confident enough to lead with him because I really wanted to see what he was gonna give me, but that's also because I can handle the situation. So just keep that in mind too. So the trail we're on today, it's gonna to be a little bit of uphill, downhill. We're gonna see a few different things and a few different types of terrain. With the different terrain and being able to see several different things, this will be a really good way to get an indication of how he's gonna be on trail rides. In order to prep Jafar for this trail ride, we have been spending a lot of time together, lots of arena work, riding around in the yard, all types of different things, but I wanted to feel really comfortable with him and him to feel really comfortable with me before taking him out in the open. And I think that's a really important thing to consider. I put a lot of thought into when I'm going to take a horse out on their first trail ride. Even though it does seem like it's more casual, you need to be safe and you need to use common sense. I've ponied him out about three times and I've ponied him out at home like on the dirt roads. I've hand walked him a lot. It's not just, okay, we're just going to go on a trail ride today. It's okay to do that, but I want to be really safe 
and he's not really super spooky or reactive but he could have those moments if somebody didn't know how to handle it correctly and how to shape him and give him positive experiences as, mu as much as they possibly can I could see it accelerating so this is why I'm choosing today it's a really nice day it's not super windy it is a more busy day a lot of people are out but that's good because it'll give him some exposure and give him something to think about but you want to really think about when the proper time to take them out might be, especially for your horse and what type of horse they are. Okay, whoa, whoa. Come here, a little more. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Sam. Easy. All right, he did a pretty good job handling that. Again, he's out in front. He didn't know what was approaching him, but as long as he was reassured, he was like, oh, okay, cool. All right, so now we're gonna trot and move out a little bit. Again, once they're settled in and you feel comfortable, I think it's good to get them moving a little bit, get them thinking. He was really smart about looking at that mud, which was awesome. He let me know, hey, the terrain is changing and I'm gonna slow down and look at it, which is fantastic. You want a horse that's gonna look at things and let you know something's there and be aware of their environment, where their feet are, what's ahead of them on the trail. Those are really good indications that he's gonna be a great trail horse. <laughs> Not getting anything. Oh, yeah. So far, he's doing good. We passed a couple hikers and some other horses, as you saw. And yeah, he did good. He got a little nervous, but he's listening, and that's what matters. I'm honestly so happy with how Jafar is doing. I honestly was like, it's either going to be an amazing experience or he's going to be like really, really, really nervous. And he is proving that our training together has paid off and that he was willing to follow and lead. And even though he got nervous, he listened to me. And that's just proof that our bond is strong and that he views me as somebody who's going to help him out and help lead him and guide him. And that's huge. And also, I'm just so happy. It's such a beautiful day that we can be out in nature on our horses, enjoying them and each other's company. It's absolutely fantastic. I give it good. <laughs> Not rocking. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> what? A what? Oh, I'm like, what do you mean? Also, horse lovers, it is Kyle's birthday today, and he was nice enough to go trail riding. So if you could leave him a happy birthday wish in the comments, we'd really appreciate it. Oh, damn. That's a tarp you're going to look at, you doop doop. 
Doop doop. Use a doop doop. Get off his ass. Thank you. See, trail rides are fun. Good boy, slow. Yeah, log. Good job. Easy. So it's very normal for the horse to want to get really close to the horse that's leading, especially on the first few trail rides. So you just want to work on keeping a little bit of distance. Also, it is good when your horse is looking at objects, like when he was looking at that log, when he was looking at the hikers ahead, because at least he's seen it and it's not going to be a last minute surprise, most likely. Plus, it means that he's alert and aware of things that are on the trail. This is positive. It's not indicating that he's scared or spooky. He's looking at things and paying attention to his environment. That is desirable. So... Mm-hmm. Like, I feel big, bigger when I'm on him. He's not a huge horse, but he's not small. You ain't no Gaston, but you're not, you're not little. Frisian standard bread. Need to go through some brush. Good job thinking about the mud. Good. Now you're going to feel these, okay? Slow it. Yes, good boy. That was nice boy. Good boy. So this will be his first time going in, like, actual water versus, like, a puddle in the arena or in the yard. So he's definitely a little bit like, what is that? But we're going to take it good slow boy. and see how he does. going in water so he did really good he's just thinking about everything but I'm super proud of him so far he's doing a really great job I feel as though he was pretty confident once he was in the water and he drank from the creek. That is amazing. You definitely want them to eat and drink on the trail if you're going to be doing really long trail rides and a lot of camping. So he drank right away. So that I was so happy with. Also, it's just a fine line between encouraging and urging them you know to move forward but not pushing it too much and once they take a step like releasing but then asking them again and not letting them just like turn away really really important that you give a lot of praise and really let them know that they're safe and comfortable and taking things in baby steps and it takes a skill set to be able to develop when to kind of urge them and encourage and when to step back and stop Again, he's doing so great with like fleeting on the trail and trotting out. Like, I'm so happy. This is so fun. On a green horse's first trail ride, I also think it's really important to listen to what they're telling you. If something is really uncomfortable for them mid trail ride, get off and lead them. There have been so many times where we've gone to the creek or I've gone to the creek with a green horse 
and I've gotten off and walked them through the creek or walked into the creek or they get really, really, really nervous and I feel that tension and I don't feel like it's really comfortable, then I will dismount. There's nothing wrong with dismounting. There's nothing wrong with walking them through a situation to help them. This is really about them. The first few trail rides are about them and setting up a positive experience. So it's annoying to me when people are like, oh no, just stay on. No, get off sometimes. It's my birthday. No. You either are in the YouTube life or you're out. All right, so he's being good. Now I'm going to try to trot away from Jiminy a little bit. Kyle's going to dismount and film. So this will be a good exercise to kind of trot back and forth away. See how he acts with that. Um, I think that's a good thing to do him today since everything has went well. All right, let's see what this Frisian boy has got. Let's see if he will try away from Jiminy back and forth and if he feels comfortable leaving a quote unquote buddy and if he trusts me enough. We're going to have fun. I call this part of the park the sand pit, which by the way, we're in Waterloo. This is in Chelsea, Michigan. Absolutely love this place. But yeah, let's see how he does. Also, this will be good for him to move in some deeper sand for a little bit for a short period of time just to get used to that type of footing. And again, I'm doing these exercises because he's been comfortable with everything that he's seen thus far. I wouldn't continue to do things if I didn't feel comfortable and that he wasn't confident. He's being fantastic. He just picked up this really nice, smooth, sweet little canter. And I just feel so comfortable. He's not like trying to speed up. He's just like, oh yeah, you want to canter? Cool. Let's just glide around a little bit. So we're going to canter just a little bit more since he felt good about it. Oh, I'm having so much fun. And isn't he beautiful? Jimmy said, peace out. What? That is scary. This is a nice That's really scary. What do you think they're for? I don't know. Fires? No. I think that's an Indian campground. People are digging for artifacts. Maybe, yeah. Oh, that's the creek that goes by the trail. Good boy. 
You're smart, buddy. Thank you. Trying. Huh? Good boy. We are getting closer to the end of our trail ride and we're really close to the trailer so we're just going to walk around in this field for a little bit, cool down, just nice and relaxed. We rode for probably a little under two hours. Everything was so good. I'm really happy with Jafar and I think this was one heck of a first trail ride. We led, we followed, we trotted, we cantered, we rode away, we crossed the creek, we looked at a lot of like logs and brush all kinds of different things. And I think that was really good exposure, especially like seeing a few people on the trail. I think that was really, really great and a really good experience for Jafar. If you were able to make it this far on the trail ride, I would love if you would drop a comment below letting me know how you think Jafar did. I'm happy with him. Again, he's a young horse and I'm just so proud of how he did, but I wanna hear what you think. I'm so glad that you guys came along with us. Okay, so I think our first trail ride went super well. I am over the moon proud of him. And I hope you guys learned a little bit from this and that you had fun watching us go on the trail. It was so much fun. And I'll see you next time, horse lovers. Bye. Say bye, Jafar. <laughs> see ya.